This question deals with interference in thin films, and there are two properties for this, so we need to figure out if we're going to be using the constructive or destructive formula, and we need to know whether this is a reflective coating or a non-reflective coating. So part A is asking what is the wavelength of the visible light that is most strongly reflective? That alone gives a hint that we're going to be using the constructive interference formula. And now we have to figure out if this is a reflective or non-reflective coating. Well, part A also says what is most strongly reflected. So that, again, tells us that we have a reflective coating on here. So we'll be using this formula right here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to rearrange and solve for the wavelength. Now I've highlighted here because this is a key phrase that is most strongly reflected. The word most indicates that when m is equal to zero. So when that integer is zero, this is where we're going to get the most strong reflection. So we'll go ahead and plug in our numbers and we'll get a wavelength of 638 nanometers. Now for part B, it says explain how a bubble of different thickness could also strongly reflect light of the same wavelength. So if we change the thickness of the bubble, the path difference will change the bubble will still be able to reflect 638 nanometers of light. However, this wavelength will be found at a different integer value. So that's referring to those M values. So we might find 638 nanometers at maybe M is equal to one or maybe M is equal to two. Now for part C, to find the two smallest film thicknesses, what we have to do is once again use this formula up here and we've rearranged and solved for t which is the thickness and what we're going to do now is we're going to substitute in one for our m value and two for our m value right here so we're going to test these out at different integers so what we'll go ahead and do is we'll plug in our variables and we'll get that the thicknesses will be 360 nanometers for the new one for the first new one and for the second new thickness it'll be 600 nanometers 